Here you Hello, Joe. You're right, mate. You mean business? I do. I'm ready to rumble. What comes to mind when I say influencer? Toxic. Influencers, right now in our generation, I, I don't think is a is a positive word. Getting followers, getting attention, doing whatever it takes to keep people giving you those likes, it's toxic. Social media, it's it's 10% reality. You know, you don't see the other 150 pictures that they've taken, you haven't seen them face tune, you haven't seen them airbrush. The role as an influencer, it's like, you show yourself doing something, you are having an impression on a series of people. I've got a 12 year old sister that I really do think about when I'm on social, so about a week ago, my sister, she was on TikTok and she said to me, Chell, what the hell? And I was like, what? And that's when I thought, yeah, this is this is getting to a place now which is worrying. I try and keep it, yeah, very much so that if she was looking at that, would it be influential? I struggled being at that age and not looking like super girly and why didn't I want to wear a dress? Like, why didn't I feel comfortable in heels? And I was the only girl in the team in school. You know, the boys didn't really want to pass to you. It spared me on as a player. It, it, it made me mentally tough. You're getting judged and say, oh, you've got a girl on your team. You know, tears, I remember, I still get a bit emotional now because I remember I just used to flood up before I've even kicked the ball and no one else would understand that I felt. It was heartbreaking. Being a female in sport and well, you know, I could type what they were going to write, get in the kitchen or, you know, I've had racist abuse. You know, I'm living my dream. I know for a fact I'm too busy enjoying my life to care about anyone else's. I started off as a footballer, but to be honest, I've probably been more successful as a musician, as a songwriter. It felt the same way when I wrote a song as when I scored a goal and that's what I wanted to feel. Just believing in something, even if 99 people in the room are telling you it's not gonna happen. I might write a song and it might get turned down 10 times, but then do a leap of once it. And I'm very lucky that I get to, to make music and play football for a living. And now I'm on a team where girls pass you the ball, so it's good. So obviously I get a lot of negative stuff as well. Um, mostly being like personal attacks. When obviously I had my beef and my fight with KSI, it did turn, turn slightly toxic. What we've what was said about like you know mental health and all of this. Being caught up in all that negativity, which it was living that for seven months, I did I didn't enjoy that. You know what's worse than being ten, <laughs> trying to fit in, the only girl in the team. You know anything that comes my way, it's just like. I've had worse than that, come on, bring it on, it's nothing. So all these trolls, it's not to me now. It helped me and also, you know, I played at soccer aid last year. I was one of only three girls, so that was easy. <laughs> I definitely learnt lessons about what I want to be about. I'm not taking myself so seriously now because like during that fight, it was all very like, I'm going to beat you, I'm this, I'm, I'm this, that and the other, like, it was just draining. And, and afterwards I wanted to really simplify everything and go, look, we can all just have a laugh now. Nothing, nothing needs to be so serious. I know what I want to be doing. I want to be enjoying myself with what I put out and creating. I really want to take social media back to being a positive, inspiring place. Afrator, the concept, obviously when I first heard about it, I was like, that, that's what we need. That's what we need because it's competitive. It's, it's about like everyone's mental strength and how, can they overcome challenges? Can they work together to bring each other up? It inspires just a good time. Um, even though it's a bit competitive, it's good competition, you know? I made friends when I was there. It was just such a good vibe and everyone was just posting happy, you know, even if they, they were losing in the event, it still come across as they were having the best time of their life. If everyone's socials was 1% of Africa, it would be a better place. After is more than just epic locations and getting out of your comfort zone. It's about proving to yourself that you can do these things that you may be absolutely terrified of. I think it's about personal growth as well as team growth. The content, the backdrop, you know, you'd see people absolutely <laughs> frightened, startled before a challenge. And then five minutes later, they'd be posting about it like, oh my God, this was the best thing I ever done. And this is why I signed up to it. This is really what social media needs. 100% influencing in the right way. The whole thing is just not on but a good time. After tour, bring it on.